Hello and good morning. It's Saturday and I'm off to Yarndale so I'm going to do some um, vlogging while I'm out and about. Hopefully Mona will get some good footage as well because she's very good at that. Um, decided on wearing my Paul sweater as you can see and I am going to be taking my um, underlace top. I did actually cast on a muscle borough um, last night, one of my gift knits, but I just thought this is easier. I don't need to think about it. I know I've got loads still to knit on it and it literally is just knitting the round and I don't even have to look at it. So if I'm distracted and talking and stuff, I won't be um, making any mistakes on that. So hope you enjoy the footage and if I see, see you there, it'll be great.
welcome. Hope you have enjoyed the um, Yarndale footage that me and Mona managed to get yesterday. Um, it is a bit bitty and chopped up, but um, I did the best I could really with what we've managed to get. Um, I'm quite new to videoing out and about. <laughs> It may not be the best, but I hope it gave you a feel and flavour uh, of what the festival was like. Um, it was good having a 10 o'clock ticket. When we got in, we managed to get, um, it was quite quiet. We were one of the first in the queue. And um, yeah, it was um, good to get in early. And we managed then to go and get a coffee before we started uh, after nipping to uh, one stall where Mona wanted to get a hot chocolate yarn. And um, I'll write the name on the screen of that, that dyer. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show you my haul now. Uh, we did also immediately on entry before going for a coffee. We did actually, I think it was before, yeah, it was straight away. We got our um, tote bag, which uh, we got this, We got the tote bag last year. And this is the new, um, they always design a sheep each year. And this one's Brenda. Um, and we also picked up the show colourway. And this will become a pair of socks for Dwayne, probably. And I'm just going to get everything else one out bit by bit. Like I say, we, we got the bag and the yarn, the show yarn. Then we went and got Mona's hot chocolate yarn. And then we went and got a coffee. And I'm so glad we did that because... Uh, well, I'll get on to that at the end once I've shown you everything and I'll give you my thoughts um, on the show. I did buy a few um, gifts, uh, which I won't show because I don't want to spoil it for the person there for. But I'll show you my other purchases. Um, a bit of a spoiler alert. Unfortunately, I didn't get um, my two young uh, sweater quantities that I'd gone for. Although, I may have purchased one of them when I got home. Okay, so, I'm not going to go in any sort of particular order. And a few of the minis, I can't for the life of me remember where I got them from. So, real apologies for that. But everything else, I'll just um, dive into my bag and show you them. And I'm be really glad once I've shown you them because I was dying to use them um, yesterday. Although, really, I was a bit tired to be doing much knitting last night. I just ended up knitting on my um, secret project. Okay, so um, this was what, the, actually, no, I'm gonna show you something else first. The, after we'd had our coffee, the first place we went to was my one of my absolute favorite yarn dyers and it's Isla Yarn, and I picked up these two absolutely beautiful skeins. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you'll know these are not my usual types of colours. As soon as I knew Isla was going to the show, I knew that I wanted to um, get something from her, uh, but I wasn't really after any sweater quantities, because I have got a a, cardig a cardigan uh, quantity for doing the calm down cardigan which I bought at April from her um, at the Woolly Good Gathering but I knew I'd get one or two skeins either for colour work or for something now these are both DK it is the Easedale which is the same as the one I've got for the cardigan and it's 70% baby alpaca 20% silk and 10% cashmere now she always has lots of um purpley colours and lots of blues and greens she uh, a lot uh, inspired by sea glass I did see a, um, a lovely uh, grey colour with flecks in which I might be tempted with 
maybe near Christmas for one of the, uh, you know what, they would, it would look gorgeous for one of the oversized cardigans that I was thinking of doing, the ones that are more like jackets. But as far as the show goes, I got these two and the DK and I thought I'd use these for um, another pair of colourwork mittens and the lovely soft and snuggly. I think they'll be very, very warm. And yet these colours just called out to me for some reason. Just something different. Yeah, so I'm very excited to um, knit them up. Now this one was from one of the uh, bargain buckets. It was a one of a kind um, colourway and this is Snuggly Stars Yarns. She had some lovely, lovely colours. Highly recommend her. And look at that. It just called out to me. It was one of the first skeins that just called out to me. And this is Water Nymph. And I think I also got this mini from her as well. All my colours. All the minis that I bought uh, I didn't buy loads, so just a few 10 grams, and a, this was a 20 gram, I think. Um, and they're just to go in my Incredibles blanket. It's always handy when you're at show to pick up a few random colours. Um, I know I've got loads in stash, but... So I'll show you my other minis. And these were... Um, I can't remember who these were from, and they're not labelled up. These are 10 gram minis. So have I got any more in here? Just let me check. No, I think that's it. And I'm really finding that in my blanket, I'm really liking the um, pops of neon colour every so often. And I don't normally have neons in stash. So when I saw that there was these, uh, a few neons in the um, selection for these minis, I decided to get them. They're 10 gram minis. That'll get me um, probably uh, two rows, which is the what you're supposed to use one colour for two rows in that blanket. Hope that <laughs> makes sense. I feel like I'm a bit tongue tied today. Excited to show you all my goodies, eh? Oh, and these just called out to me. These are my colours and. Um, I do absolutely love putting um, sparkly uh, Stellina yarns into my blanket. I just think they look beautiful. So this was a bit of a treat buying this for um, my blanket. And I may change my mind for the use of it. I hope you can see all those beautiful beautiful colours that's from creative anarchy that's not a diary i'd heard of before i don't think uh, night sky this is called and it's 75 percent uh, merino 20 percent nylon and five percent gold stellina yeah i just thought they were so pretty i couldn't not get them Next, I used some money um, that my mum had given me to treat myself and um, I got this skein from Blue Fern Yarn. There's so many of her colourways this year um, that I've absolutely loved and I have actually ordered her a uh, four week advent which I am so looking forward to. This is a DK 100 grams. 225 meters and it's 75% merino and 25% nylon. Colourway just called out to me. It was a toss up between this one and one I'd seen on another um, stall which was Flex of Pink. Uh, but I didn't want to buy too many random skeins. Tempted to make this into a pair of DK socks but just an idea for now so we shall see. And um, these little lash yarns that I'm going to show you. So as you can see, I have been quite good. Now, um, these two were 
a chance find and I found them in um, a bargain basket and it was from Yarn Unique and I could not walk away from this colourway. It's absolutely stunning and I what um what cinched the deal for me was when I also read that it was um a fifty percent merino and fifty percent silk and that is the yarn uh base that the Isle yarn was that I made my outline tea with so I thought I could possibly and I only used two skeins so I could possibly use this um to make a, another outline tee and I think that's what I'll do uh, the lady the dyer did say to me that the reason this was in the, the um, uh, the, the, oh, <laughs> the bargain basket is because there was some darker flecks in it but I'm absolutely fine with that it's a stunning stunning colour and I have been drawn to brights lately, so I thought, why not, eh? It's two skeins, gets me a top, um, and I know how much I like the feel and drape of my other outline tee. So, yeah, very, very excited to, um, to do that, because that was a chance find at the show. Um... As I say, uh, there's a couple of gifts that I'm not going to show. I went to um, We County Yarns, and unfortunately, they didn't um, they didn't have the um, purple yarn that I wanted. I was hoping to get the thistle colourway um Kim Ross four ply and the, and I wanted to get that for the stone crop and I kind of set my heart on it so um that is something I ordered when I got home she said that the thistle colourway has actually been discontinued which I was gutted about so when I came home I did have a look and I've managed to get enough for the stone crop sweater from two different places. Now I know that means that I will have um, possibly two different dye lots, um, probably I mean two different dye lots, so I'll assess that when they come. I'm still going to use it. The colourway is going to be broken up by the colour work. So hopefully that will detract the eye if there is a massive difference and I'll probably just fade them in. But I'll see what I think when they come. Okay, so um, that's all of the yarn that I purchased. And um, I just wanted to show you now the little accessories that I got. So if you, I think I said I, I was looking to get some more stitch markers and to get some needle stoppers. We definitely wanted the needle stoppers from Blue Fern because we'd seen her advertising some. And these are the ones that I'd seen her advertising that I fancied getting. I managed to get some of them. Or to me, no ones with pumpkins and sunflowers. And then I saw these cute little coffee cups. So I thought I'd get those. And then they were from Blue Fern. And I got uh, these little flump stitch markers from the die shack they are the clasps that i prefer all the solid rings now there'll be a bit of crunching in a minute unfortunately oh can't show that one <laughs> forgot that's a gift <laughs> oh and i did get some buttons as well from the old horizon I would have got two of these, but there was only one. I think I'm going to use these on my Calm Down cardigan because I think they'll go nice, but we'll see when I hold it up next to the yarn. You never know, do you? I didn't have the yarn with me to hold it against. Sorry, they are in packets, these. 
because they are separate. Let's tip them out. Okay, so I think this was called the treble maker, but I'll double check that and I'll put the name on the screen. And you could get uh, five, they had all the, it was like a pick and mix, like uh, the old one penny pick and mix sweets. And you could pick out, and it was five for £10 of the stitch markers. I think that was it. And so I got five. Hoping that you'll be able to see these. Try and see if I can hold them up a little bit better against my hand. So I got three of the little uh, gummy bears in three different colours. They did have some other um, stitch markers that I was drawn to. Oh, and I got two of these little mushrooms. It doesn't want to stay still, does it? There we go. Um, so, yeah, two of the mushrooms and three of those um, different um, gummy bears. Like I say, they had a few other um, stitch markers that I was drawn to, but I was a bit concerned about them being a bit big and annoying me on the project, so... I decided to go for those and then I went to the Stitchy Maker and I got these beautiful um, white little stones and they're the ones that are the solid ring oh. and what sold me on these is they feel absolutely um, beautiful to touch like a soft like sea glass and then I just got three separate ones as well. And I'll try my best to show you these, but they are quite tiny. Don't want to lose them. I'm going to pack them away after so I don't. This one's a, a, a very, very small one. And the last one, and I hope you can see this, but the light shines through this like a bluey kind of purple. Yes, yeah, so, um, and that's all my purchases apart from my couple of um, gifts. And I think I was quite restrained, I did quite well. And that's why I thought um, with um, them saying that the Kinross floor ply in the thistle was going out of, uh, uh, was uh, discontinued for the moment anyway, um, I thought I'd better um, get that ordered straight away when I got back. So, I um, hope you enjoyed my um, little footage and vlog and uh, my haul and yeah oh i wanted to give you my thoughts and i was going to say goodbye then but um yeah so overall yarn dale um really enjoyed it it's um a lot of stalls to go around um the main focus of the festival does seem to be the shopping element um what i preferred with the um the show at um in april in edinburgh the woolly good gathering was it was a lot there was a lot less stalls to look around now it and and it was a lot more spread out which in some ways made it difficult yarndale is quite nice in that there's lots of aisles um, you can walk up and down, it's easy to know where you've been, who you've seen and it's not as hard to miss things which you could have done at um, the Woolly Good Gathering. And I like that there is a lot of different sellers because obviously it appeals to lots of different people. But the, the thing that they're missing out there, and it's a big thing, is the social aspect and the eating and drinking, the queues were horrendous. I mean, 30 or 40 minutes. 
and then you don't even know if you're going to get a table so we couldn't even get a drink with our food and the they could have a lot more trucks outside they could have a lot more um certainly more drinks vendors it just seems to me that they're missing a trick there with that there wasn't enough seating they have seating dotted about in between the um, stalls but that's only good if you've got your own drinks and your own food I mean if you if you've been going for a while you probably bring a packed lunch and I think we should have thought of doing that but when you've got you know you're going to be making lots of purchases you're going to be spending quite a bit of money you're going to be carrying stuff around you would expect the venue to have ample seating and ample um places where you can get a drink if if nothing else um there was only i think so inside they had two um sort of a basic cafe style places and from about 11 o'clock there was a massive queue to those. So if you wanted a brew or a drink, they were the main two places to go inside the building and the queues were horrendous. So you couldn't just think, oh, I've done a couple of vials, I'll stop for a drink. I've done a couple of vials, I'll stop for a drink, which is what me and Mona probably would have done. And obviously people who um, struggle with walking and all that type of things, they couldn't have done that unless they brought their own drinks. And then, um, so yeah, so if you wanted to get a drink, you had to brace yourself for a 20 to 30 minute wait in the queue. And then not knowing if you could find somewhere to sit down to have your drink. Um, and then there was a jacket potato place inside and also a... Um, Thai food I think it was and then a crepes place all three of those places the queues were horrendous not all of those places sold drinks so we decided to try the Thai street food for our dinner Mona went to find a seat it the, all the seats were taken where you could eat some of the tables even ran out of seats so there were spaces at the table but not a chair um, and she managed to find a seat so she could sit down while I was in the queue and I was waiting at least 20 minutes maybe a bit longer to get the food and then um, another 10 minutes on top of that waiting for the food now I understand I'm not complaining about that because there's there's place was busy um, I just feel they needed more um, yeah more eateries outside there was also a ice cream van a place where you could get because inside the building you couldn't even get a proper latte at, the, at that coffee place there it was built to coffee or tea um, so we decided to go outside and wait for a coffee after our food and we'd finished doing our shopping at this point. Um, normally at these things, what we do like to do is have pit stops, chat about what we've bought, chat about what we want to get, have a brew, recharge our batteries and um, do a bit of knitting and then continue going around and looking at the stalls. It wasn't really the vibe there that you could do that. I know this is my personal opinion um, and I've only been to two different shows to compare and contrast but also Mona did mention that um, quite a few of the big sellers weren't there this year which was a shame. Uh, Lay Family wasn't there obviously um, 
can't remember. There was a couple of others that we noticed weren't there, which was a shame. And I know a few of the uh, big dyers have decided not to do um, shows this year for one reason or another, but we did miss seeing them. Um, and whether we'll, because for me, two shows a year is quite enough. I spend quite a bit, I get quite a bit of yarn and it lasts me quite a while. Um, and I enjoy going to two a year. We've already decided that we're probably going to do East Anglia Yarn Festival um, next year. Now, we've been to Yarndale, well, I've been to Yarndale twice now. Mona was going for years before I, I went. Whether we'll go next year or not uh, remains to be seen. Um, I feel as though we could potentially try something else um something with more of a social more relaxed atmosphere um Yarndale does get pretty pretty busy because it is quite a big show with lots of sellers um I just wish they'd make the improvements on the social side because to me that's a big thing of going to a yarn festival it's getting to chat to other knitters it's um you know sitting and knitting and enjoying the atmosphere and I don't think you can really do that at Yarndale very very easily. We did manage to chat to a few people, but um, yeah, the main focus seems to be the shopping, which is a shame. And I think they're missing a trick there with that. But let me know if you went, if you, if you have um, the same feelings from this year. Obviously I've come away with some lovely purchases and I had a great day. Me and Mona had a great time. The, actually, the bus service was great. Last year, we managed to park up in the overflow car park, which, it, as you come into the um, place where it's held, the auction, I think it's called the auction mart, um, which you go right at the roundabout for. We were left and we were parked up on a big car park there, um, and that was quite good. But this year, that wasn't available. So we ended up on the coach and it actually was really good service. I mean, the when we got to the car park in the morning, there was a bus straight away to take us there. And then, um, which was at the Rotary Club. And then, I think it was called that. And then um, afterwards, when we were coming, wanting to come home, Literally within about five minutes of being in the queue, there was a bus there that was ready to take us back. So yeah, that that service was really really good. Um, in my um, from my perspective of what 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 we experienced. Um, but yeah, it's just that little thing with the food and drink would have made it perfect for me really, because uh, we do go for the. Well, I go for, you know, some of the social side of it and to be, you know, get involved with the knitters and, and you know, enjoying the vibe more and making it more relaxed. Anyways, I think I've rambled on enough about that. Let me know in the comments if you went, what your experience of it. And also, um, if you're in the UK, which are the best shows to go to and which one should me and Mona try? because um, that would be nice to hear. Like I say, East Angular Yarn Festival is one I think we're going to be going for next year. It's definitely one that um, we, uh, well, I've suggested because I've seen a lot of people go into that and I know quite a few of the dyers um, that are involved in that show are ones that I really love the yarn from. So, um, that's probably the next one we'll be going to but yeah I'd love to hear if you're from the UK which is your favourite show thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye